George Floyd, another black man murdered by the police. And I mean, this is just disgusting what's going on in the United States. It, it's really. It's like it's some Nazi shit. It really is. They're just murdering people while, like, they know they're being filmed and they just continue. They don't give a shit. And this is becoming. Uh, it's too much. Like I said before, you know, these shouldn't be uh, statistics. Uh, they're trying to dehumanize black people. They're trying to dehumanize them to the point where it's like, oh, another one. And then uh, two weeks later, you know, we had uh, Ahmaud Arbery uh, being shot in February and we just found out about it. And then now we find uh, we see uh, George Floyd being murdered and uh, Eric Gard. I mean, like how many names? Like, when does it end? Is there a point where it stops, where the police actually are not murdering people in broad fucking daylight? You, you say like, oh, Police need to be respected. Police need to have uh, this kind of authority. Okay, then fucking train them properly so people respect them. Not not you just unleash them on communities so they can murder people. What the fuck is that? That's not a police force. That's a fucking oppression. That's a tool of oppression. Do you understand? So I'm going to show you the video and I'm, I'm giving you a content warning. This is a trigger warning. It's very, very upsetting. Um... You can see George Floyd being choked to death by uh, this, this, this scumbag. This police officer has his knee down on his neck. And it's, it's very clear. It's very audible. And it's very, very disturbing, man. And uh, I want to show it because, I mean, you can't just hide injustices because they're uncomfortable. That's an insult to George Floyd. Just like if I didn't show the video for Ahmaud Arbery, that would have also been an insult to him. And, and he died. He, he fucking, they killed him. They murdered him. So I can't just, like... I'm going to show it, and it's really uncomfortable. You know, I watched it uh, before uh, going live, and I cried because it's really, really disturbing. Um, so, yeah. Oh. 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 Well, you got him down, man. Let him breathe, at least, man. I can't breathe. I've been trying to hear about this. So you breathe a little bit. Let him take, man. One of my homies died. I'm about to die. You see? Let him relax. Oh, man. Let him breathe. 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 Let breathe. breathe. Let him breathe. Let him breathe. Let him I will. Get up, get in the car. I can't move. I've been waiting the whole car. Ah. Ah. Get up, get in the car. Mama. Get up, we get Mama. in the car right. I can't. You can't get up. Uh, that's the food. Just my stomach hurts. Uh -huh. My neck hurts. Uh -huh. Everything hurts. Ah. There's water or something. Please. Please. Ah. I can't breathe all the time. Ah. Shut up. They will kill me. They will kill me, man. <laughs> How long y'all gotta hold him down? Why are you doing drugs, kids? It ain't about drugs, bro. Y'all understand it. Yeah, y'all don't gotta put y'all in there, bro. Right. He is human, bro. His nose is You can put him in the car. That's a bitch. We tried that 10 minutes. That's, um. What do you want me to say, man? You like who think anyone anyone who thinks this is okay? Fuck you. All right? Fuck you. Do you do you know why they did that to him? Huh? He forged a check. Oh wow, he forged a fucking check. Maybe. So so they choked him to death. What is wrong with you people? What the fuck is wrong with you? Floyd, George Floyd, a black man, was arrested Monday evening after officers responded to a call about an alleged forgery in progress. Video from bystanders shows Floyd handcuffed and pinned to the ground and one police officer's knee pressing against his neck. Floyd says that he is in pain and can't breathe. He was declared dead at a, um, a nearby hospital shortly afterwards. Four police officers involved in the incident were fired Tuesday. Minneapolis police said. That includes Officer Derek Chauvin, 
The officer seen on video restraining Floyd with his knee. What, what do you mean re restraining Floyd with his knee? He fucking killed him. He murdered him. He wasn't restraining him. He fucking killed him. When you put your knee down on someone's neck to the point that they die, you are murdering them. You're killing them. Not restraining them. Restraining is putting someone in handcuffs. Restraining means putting someone, you know, tying their hands with a rope. That's what restraining means. When you put your knee down on someone and, and cut their uh, supply of oxygen to their brain, that's murder. That's, that's choking. That's not restraining. Why can't the media do their fucking job? What is wrong with you motherfucking assholes? Why are you covering for the fucking police? What is this shit? I just watched the video. I just showed it to you. You saw the video. What are you doing? Why are you using this soft fucking language for something that is murder, that is, that is gory, that is brutal, that is oppressive? Why are you trying to sugarcoat it, you fucking assholes? What is wrong with this shit? When are you going to hold the fucking police and the government accountable? I thought that's the media's job, no? Aren't they the fourth branch of government? Hmm? Or are you the pussy whip bitches of the establishment? Which one is it? Restraining him. That's, that's not fucking restraint. He was already in fucking handcuffs. And you see, that's the thing, because now they say like, oh, well, you know, oh, he was resisting arrest. Uh, 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 uh. Be quiet. We got video from the, the store showing us that he, he resisted nothing. This was, <laughs> this is the most cooperative, peaceful uh, detainee, if there ever was one. All right, I'm going to show that to you too. Here we go. You can see here. That's him. That's George Floyd right here. That's the cops. All right. Now you, now you tell me where he's resisting arrest. Is he running away? He being violent? Is he doing anything wrong? Tell me, where, where is he resisting arrest? I want to know. Hey, he's sitting down the whole time. Okay, now, hold on. So now, they're getting him up, all right? So he's already in handcuffs, yes? You can see that? Where is he being belligerent? Where is he being... Where, is he giving them a hard time? Come on. I mean, he's already been arrested. <laughs> That's it. Look, they're just walking him to the car. I mean, uh, hold on a second. You know, I, I, I want to show you the video. Let's watch it to the end. So there's no... I, I want to be very clear about something. Okay? I want to be very clear. Uh, because I, f I feel like Americans got something twisted. Uh, you, you don't kill people because they resisted arrest. I've seen videos of uh, people uh, resisting arrest in the UK <laughs> that are way more dramatic than this. <laughs> they got fucking knives in their hands. You know, they're, they're, they're playing Indiana Jones with the fucking cops, and they don't get choked. They don't get fucking, uh, you know, a knee on their, on their neck and their air supply cut. They don't get murdered in the fucking street because they resisted arrest. What the fuck does that mean? What, what is he, a fucking armed combatant that you had to murder him? And even then, you prisoners of war got fucking rights. What is wrong with you motherfuckers? What is this? He was resist resisting arrest. Therefore, he deserves to die. What the fuck is wrong with you, you Nazi fucking cunt? Have you lost your fucking mind? Have you got no fucking shred of humanity, you piece of shit? He was resisting arrest. Go and eat a bag of dicks. Always with this fucking bullshit. It's always the, the victim's fault, right? It's always black people's fault, right? It's, ne it's never the people, you know, committing murder. No, it's not them. <laughs> you never stopped to think one second, wow, we should really stop killing black people. No, you never had that thought occur to your mind, no? Fucking idiots. So, people are protesting. They're rioting. Good. Good. Rightfully so. Let me show you that. Take a look. Massive protests in Minneapolis, Minnesota in response to the killing of George Floyd. An unarmed 
black man by Minneapolis police yesterday. So I don't think there's much audio. This is helicopter footage, but nonetheless, you can see these. There's a very large gathering. Good. Good. And we got more footage, I believe, over here. The sound is a bit too loud, but I will show it to you. You can see here that they entered the police. This is the... This is the police station itself, I believe. So they're busting up the police cars and everything in response to the murder, killing of George Floyd. And you burn that shit down. So, yeah, the, the audio uh, has been distorted, but you can hear them saying, what's his name? George Floyd. That's important because they try to dehumanize people of color and black people, you know, like, oh, one is murdered over here, another murdered over here. No, no, no. These are people with names, with families, with friends. They have lives. They're fucking human beings. They're men. You know, Ahmaud Arbery, Eric Gardner, and now George Floyd. And this list is becoming quite long. So it's good here to humanize, you know, respect him. His me and 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 remind people of his name and it, it, this is just disgusting man it, what, what is happening in the u.s like what is this uh, po uh policing that's not policing that's oppression <laughs> that's what it is okay you you I, I really want people to understand the difference here uh when you are policing correctly uh people trust you okay that's what's supposed that's what what it's supposed to be right that you actually trust the police that you have confidence in them not that you are scared of them because they're fucking murdering you in the street. So this is not policing. I don't care what they tell you, okay? And I, I think that this is, uh, you know, they fired four police officers. I don't, I, no, no, no. <laughs> Can you imagine murdering someone at your work and you just get fired? That would never happen. You would, be, you would face a fucking murder charge. You would, you would catch a case, right? In some states, you would, uh, what did they do give you? Electric chair? They still do that? Oh, and there's a whole, whole, uh, there's a whole thing about uh, lethal injections. God. Um, but you understand what I'm saying here is that uh, this administrative leave or firing police officers. No, no, no. That was a murder. Where's the murder charge? Where is it? I mean, even those McMichaels that killed Ahmaud Arbery were walking around for like two months, three months, and they weren't even police and they didn't get charged with murder. So what the fuck is this? Where are the murder charges? I'm, I, I don't care if they're fired or not. You can keep them on the force. Give them fucking murder charges. I want to see them in jail. <laughs> I want to see them fucking locked up. They kill them. I saw it. I, I just saw it. You're not... Like, this whole notion that you are allowed to kill a fucking civilians in, the, in broad daylight. Uh, no, there is no because. There's no because. You already had him in handcuffs. What the fuck was he doing, doing on the pavement? Why was he not in the car? What, what were you doing... With your fucking knee on his uh, throat for so long that he died. And by the way, I've seen this done to a white person too. I don't, I, I, and I can't even remember his name. And he, he was just having a mental health episode. And I don't know, maybe anxiety attack. Who, know, who knows, man? Maybe he took some drugs, whatever. They still killed him. And the ambulance crew were fucking pissed off. You could see it in the video. They were angry. They were like, why did you just kill this, this dude? You call us to, the, to, to take care of him and then you fucking murder him? By putting your fucking knee on his throat? What is that?
Man, I'm, I'm really struggling to understand who is training these people. Where are these people trained? In a fucking zoo? Where, where do these police officers get trained? Who is training them? I, can, I would do a better job than whoever the fuck is, is training them, okay? You, you don't put your fucking knee on someone's air supply. You don't do that. The guy's unarmed. You already had him in handcuffs. You're a fucking idiot. You shouldn't be a police officer. Go to jail. You're a moron. <laughs> I, I, I really don't see where the... There's no complication here. Don't, don't get it twisted. Motherfuckers. Really, really sick of this shit. Fucking fired. No, no, no. Fired is not enough. It's not enough. And, and it's, uh, you know, I, I, really, I really cried when I, when I saw it f at first. And, uh, it, I mean, the guy's telling you I can't breathe. Just like Eric Gardner told you I can't breathe. And he's calling out for his mom and you, you fucking murdered him. You, you pieces of shit. This is not a police force. It's an oppression force. And, um, you know, it, what's really messed up is that uh, this is very, you know, the United States, <laughs> again, uh, I, 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 told, I told you this before, they, they just don't, they dehumanize blacks. They dehumanize people of color everywhere, everywhere, right? So just like they are killing people in the streets, they're killing blacks in the streets, murdering them, choking them to death, shooting them when they've done nothing. They're doing the same thing abroad, right? Bur you know, just bursting into people's houses in Iraq. Like, who, like, just this concept, like, who are you to come in people's houses <laughs> and fucking shove guns in their faces and kill them? This is terrorism. It's oppression. That's what it is. And so, and the same thing the Israelis do to the Palestinians, the Zionists. Oh, yeah. I, have you guys seen videos of that? Hmm? Have you seen how they treat kids? Have you, have you seen how they treat just people in general, everyone? All Arabs, Palestinians, putting fucking M4s in their faces? Hmm? Killing them? Murdering them? It's really upsetting. And and no one knows their names. They don't they they don't you know they don't get any attention. And then if you protest, right? If Palestinians protest, they'll shoot at you with real bullets. So, another thing I wanted to show you here, the police, right? They responded to these mass protests. Take a look. See here, all these giant, these giant crowds. Good. Good. Need more of them. Much, much more. So, you have uh, the police shooting uh, rubber bullets. Uh, they're using uh, flash grenades as well on these protesters in Minneapolis. And I just want to remark, uh, I just want to contrast that with the protests we saw about uh, reopening, you know, states, reopening states for, for business. You remember those protests? We covered them like we had in, in the capital of Michigan. People walking into the capital with, with guns and the sergeant at arms and the, the police just standing there, you know, just letting them do their thing. Yeah. Oh, but if you protest blacks being murdered by police, now we're going to get tear gas. Now we're going to get flash grenades. Now we're going to shoot at you with rubber bullets. Very interesting. Very interesting contrast. No. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why. This is, this is how oppression works, you understand? They're going to normalize killing minorities in broad daylight. They will dehumanize blacks in broad daylight. And if you open your mouth about it, they will fucking suppress you and silence you. They will shoot at you with rubber bullets, tear gas you, whatever it is. Remember the person who filmed Eric Garner being murdered? Went to jail. But none of the six police officers who murdered Eric Garner. <laughs> so if you, if you expose the oppression, go to jail. But if you oppress, you can walk around free. Th this is not a, you know, this is not one case, one example. No, no, this is a pattern. This is a, a continued pattern that we're seeing now. All right. Over and over and over. It never changes. Doesn't fucking change under any administration. It's always the same shit. They, because this is how... Uh, imperialism works. This is how capitalism works. They need these institutions in place to suppress you. They can't. They can't humanize you. What are you talking about? <laughs> you you want to be equal to whites? Are you crazy? 
it, it's indoctrination, man. It really is. Fucking, fucking disgusting. See? Tear gas used after crowd turned unruly. Ah, the crowd turned unruly. How dare you? But we can murder people in broad daylight. That's not unruly. <laughs> That's okay. That's normalized. But don't turn unruly. How dare you open your mouth? How dare you be outraged at something that is outrageous? Disgusting. Disgusting. Really is. So I, I hope this video works. Um, the Minnesota Department of... Yeah, so this is uh, uh, George Floyd's family. And uh, uh, let's listen to what they have to say, okay? So George Floyd's family says four officers involved in his death should be charged with murder. Of course, of course they should. Any, any, anyone who is uh, human, anyone who has empathy, anyone with a single brain cell knows that these police officers are murderers. They murdered George Floyd. That was not restraining. That was not policing. That was murder. Okay? I'm not, I'm not debating this. It's not a debate. Department of Public Safety are investigating George's death. The four officers involved have been fired, uh, which the mayor of Minneapolis said was the, the right call. But is that enough for your family, Philonese? No, not at all. I love my brother. Everybody loves my brother. Knowing my brother is to love my brother. They could have tased him. They could have mazed him. Instead, they, would, they put their knee in his neck and just sat on him and didn't care at all. He screamed, mama, mama, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And they didn't care. So I don't, I don't, I just don't understand what more we got to go through in life, man. They didn't have to do that to him. He's a jump giant. He don't hurt anybody. He give his last to anybody. They didn't care. They treated him worse than they treat animals. And I was like that. They took a life, now they deserve life. I don't feel sorry for them. They hurt me and they hurt my family. I can't take nothing back. I can't get my brother back. They at home, they sleep, they with their wives, they got kids. If something like that happened to them, they'll be just like me. I just don't know what's going on now. So, firing them is... is 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 a good start, but we want to see justice for our family. And um, we want to see them charged. We want to have them arrested. They need to be charged with her because what they did was, was murder. And almost the whole world has witnessed that because somebody was gracious enough to report it. Hmm. Um, the the uh, connection, we lost it for a second. You said you want to see them charged. At, did you say charged with murder? Is that what you said? We want to see them charged with murder. murder. And we want them to be convicted. We want them arrested. They need to pay for what they did. Um, he didn't deserve what happened to him. And they didn't do anything to help him. They were supposed to be there to serve and to protect and I didn't see a single one of them lift a finger to do anything to help. While he was begging for his life, not one of them tried to do anything to help him. That I didn't see. What I did see was murder. And that's what I want them to be arrested and charged and convicted mm -hmm. for. Do you think when, when folks, uh, members of the public, Exactly. Thank you. I mean, 100% everything, everything they said. <laughs> I have nothing to add. I have nothing to add. That wasn't policing. 
you know, they say, oh, we're there to serve and protect. That's not serving and protecting. That's just oppression. That's terrorism. Fuck you. Now, we're not debating this. You, you know what's really disgusting to me is that uh, th his family has to go on national television and, like, plead for justice. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, hold on a second. Are, are these American citizens or not? Are, are, are they human beings or not? Are they equal to you or not? Make up your fucking mind. Because if these people were white, mm -hmm, if George Floyd were white, oh, this would be a whole different story. Just like with Ahmaud Arbery. Uh, you know, black people shouldn't have to go on television and beg for the, the bare minimum of fucking justice. End of story. This is, this is uh, I, I find this insulting that they have to go on television and even say these words. The motherfuckers that murdered uh, George Floyd should have already been charged. End of story. I'm not debating this. If, go fuck yourself. If you, if you, don't, if you look at that video and, and you don't cry and you don't think that was murder, there's something wrong with you. So that's all I'm going to say. And, um... End of story. Period. Period. It, it's, re it's really astounding. Like, um... I'm, I'm going to end up talking about this for hours. It's just really... It, it's, it's, uh... I mean, I, I think all, all police should have body cams. Like, this is not even a debate. And if that shit ain't on... <laughs> fired. We're not fucking around here. You're not murdering people and then being like, oh, I don't know, my body cam wasn't on. No, no, what did you do, asshole? <laughs> you did what? You fucking killed someone? I mean, this this is so weird. Uh, this is so... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, dystopian. This is dystopian, watching this. Do you, know how, do you know how many people the police kill in the UK a year? I think it's something like 50 total right i get i don't know how they die they don't have guns in the uk so probably i don't know how it happens but i think correct me if i'm wrong it's somewhere around like 50 people okay one time you know I, i've mentioned this before you had the g6 protests in in london very very you know <laughs> the that was a rowdy crowd to say the least I mean, those protests were wild and um rightfully so it's a meeting of criminals essentially <laughs> and uh the police hit someone on the head uh and killed him by you know by accident uh, i'm assuming and and that caused a fucking outrage good it should do you understand, so do you understand, you see the contrast i'm trying to paint here whereas in the united states it's like oh yeah uh you know a uh, black man gets shot here. Another black man gets choked over here in broad daylight, and nothing happens. Like what? What? You you fucking did what? The whole country should be erupting in outrage over George Floyd. The entire country, not just Minneapolis. The whole country, all of it. This is unacceptable. Do not normalize this behavior. Do not tolerate this. Do not be silent about it. Those you, you need to understand something. You know what I really like about that video with the, with the protesters? Hold on, let me pull up the frame again. Look at this. Right up to their fucking doorstep. Exactly. You need to go up to their fucking doorstep and demand, demand repercussions for this shit, for this oppression. Right? You can't give them a pass. They're too used to having and getting a pass. All right? It's unacceptable. It's dehumanization of people of color. So, again, that, that okay. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm, I I don't have anything else to add. I mean, um, unless I forgot I forgot something. But my point is made. This is, this is not policing. This is oppression and terrorism. That's what it is. They're, they're the real terrorists. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really funny how, how you can see this pattern, right? Like, uh, inside the United States and outside the United States, uh, they, they commit terrorism against people of color and then accuse people of color of being terrorists. <laughs> right? Fucking insane.
it's just it's it's really it's absolutely insane. And, uh, you know, yeah, as someone is mentioning in the comments, and I've, I, I think I saw this on Twitter, I don't know if this is true, but people are saying that the guy who, who choked uh, uh, George Floyd to death, this piece of shit, that he was a white supremacist. Uh, they went on his Facebook, I think. I don't know if this is true. But I just want to say something to you. Like, regardless of what they believe personally, like if they're right-wingers or, or white supremacists or fucking communists or lefties, I, I don't care. You should, you're not there to fucking choke people as a police officer. Do you understand? You, this should not be allowed regardless. And if he is a white supremacist, why the fuck did they employ him? That's another good question. You know, th th this is the problem in the United States. This motherfucker is fired. Like, four of them, they got fired now, right? They can just go to another police department and they'll get employed. They're not barred from being police officers in other places. That, that, don't, that don't scare you? That's fucking scary. So, so there you go. How, how heartbreaking, seriously. Um, we, we got some super chats. I'll, 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 I'll read them out. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mona. Thank you very much. Says, uh, how, how can anyone have such little empathy and compassion? They didn't care at all about this man. What kind of awful person does that? Exactly. Only someone evil could act in such a way. Fuck these motherfuckers. They need to be murdered with a knee in their neck. Props to the bystanders trying to save his life. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's really crazy because people are, are standing around them and telling them, like, yo, uh, are you aware you're killing someone? Hello? And <laughs> he's saying, so, I can't breathe, asshole. I can't breathe. They don't care. They're, they're robots. They're, they're fucking Terminators. They've become agents of oppression. Do you understand? They, in, in their mind, black people, people of color, aren't human. That's how they think. Only someone who, who, who was dehumanized internally, dehumanized black people, could, could do that. That's fucked up. Jesus Christ. Allah yarhamu. God rest his soul to George Floyd. <laughs> 